Hello guys and welcome back to another video on my channel. Now today I'm doing another episode in my Luton Town save on Football Manager. Now guys, if you haven't checked out the first episode, make sure you do. I've made a playlist for this series so you guys can obviously watch the videos at any time on my channel. Obviously, if you haven't checked out the first episode, make sure you do. I'm going to be saying a spoiler in 3, 2, 1. Yes, we won our first game of the season and obviously transfer deadline day has passed. But now we're going to play a lot of games in this episode and I'm looking forward to it. Can we continue our winning start and obviously get more wins on the board? So guys, we're going into our first away game of the season to Cardiff. Now in real life, this game was a 2-1 win to Cardiff. They ended up scoring in the 90th minute, but I've stayed with the same formation as the one which we played against Middlesbrough. A positive 4-4-2 um, diamond. Now, just to remind you guys, James Collins and obviously Dan Potts are both out injured. So, two key players will be missing from this game. But anyway, my lineup for today's game is Sluga, our new signing, Atonito. I think I've said his name correctly. Pearson, Vickers, our new loan signing in Richards. O'Kane, the Leeds player. I'm just going to have to refer to him as the Leeds player. Um, Pelly, Izzy, our German, um, ex very experienced German striker, um, Mia or Maya, and then obviously Elliot Lee. With the subs, Shea, Philando, Berry, Josh, Craney, Shinny, and Bolton on the bench. Pelly on the ball now. Pelly's gone on a magical run there. He's just gone through the whole card of defence. Can he score though? One-on-one oh, -on -one chance inside the first minute of this game. Should have been 1-0 Luton, but what a run by Pelly Ruddock. Sluga, who sit to Richards, who's just gave the ball away to Cardiff. Now Cardiff looked to counter here. I uh, came with the tackle. Ruddock comes in to clear it. Well, that was coming, to be fair. Two mistakes there from two players. Pelly wins the ball, but then loses it out. And obviously Cardiff just counter that shocking goal to concede, really. To be fair, we've been doing all right this half. It's just like making key errors, like giving the ball away. And we're 2-0 down inside, well, inside the first half. And I don't know why. Like, two individual errors have cost us. Right, I've made two subs. I've put Izzy Brown up top and taken Elliot Lee off and put Shinny um, in that number 10 role. And then Jave has replaced Atonito. He's not had a good start on his debut. We've got a throw down on the left-hand side. Richards gives it to Pelly. Wins the flick on. Back to Pelly. Gives it to O'Kane. Through balls it to Richards. who shoots on his debut as well. What a strike. Now, can we get a comeback now? We've still got about 18 minutes to play. Richards with a lovely finish. Set up by O'Kane. And he's had a good start to his debut. Just look at this. Pelly to O'Kane. O'Kane through balls it to Richards. A cross goal. Keeper, no chance. Over the top to Jave. Jave down the right-hand side. Gives it to the Leeds player. Back to O'Kane. Shinny now on the ball. Down on the right-hand side to Jave. Can he cross the ball into the box now? Through balls. It's Easy Brown. And we've just come back from 2-0 down. Two goals inside like five minutes. Great play by Luton. And it just shows you my substitutions and my tactical changes have worked. Moving Izzy Brown up top and obviously swapping Jave for Antonito um, after an hour as well. Brilliant play so far by Luton. Last two minutes of the game roughly. Cardiff have a goal kick. Great ball to be fair down on the left hand side. Do not concede in the 90th minute. Cardiff. Great save. What? Oh, why do you not just... Oh my God, what's happening? Richards, clear it. Blocks and Cardiff still attacking. Oh, I, I can't even explain what's happened. Oh my! Oh, thank God for that. Cardiff should have actually scored um, before that anyway. Like a couple of shots blocked off the line. Schluger with a really good save, but they obviously had an offside goal here. Yeah, clearly offside, and we are very lucky because Cardiff. I thought we we're going to score there. Plays it to Jave to Shinny now. Shinny through balls it to Jave. Can we counter now? In the last minute of the game, Petty Ruddock. Oh my God! In the last like ten seconds of the game, Peddy should have won it. We should have we should have won this game. Peddy's missed like golden opportunities in this game. How have we not scored? Back to O'Kane. Yeah, the rest blowed up. That could have been well. Any team could have won that game. To be fair, Cardiff had a 
good opportunities to obviously win it. Pelly in the last like seconds of the game should have won it. I don't know if I'm going to be disappointed, but to be fair, we were 2 0 down, and to come back from 2 0, I'm extremely happy. So, guys, we're going into this Carabao Cup first round game away to Wolves. So, Wolves are in League Two, so I've made more like a rotation in the side. I'm expecting a win in this game, to be fair. Wolves are in League Two, so we should be winning this match. A turn and so gives it to Lee. Can you cross the ball into the box now? Crosses the ball into Danny Hilton, and Danny gets his first goal of the season. Lovely cross from our new right back into the box to Danny Hilton, and he gets his first goal of the season. And Luton are 1-0 up. Sinclair down on the right-hand side for Walsall. Won the tackle, Shinny. Who's it long? To Lee. Can we counter now? Lee through balls it to Danny Hilton. He's clean for right goal. Can he score? Great save from the keeper. Walsall in the last like minute of the game now. Nearly score. Good 1-0 win away like to Walsall in the Carabao Cup. We had plenty of chances at goal. As you can see, 25 shots, 14 on target. I'm happy with that. Richards, again, with another good performance. He's turning out to be a really good signing. So, guys, in the second round of the Carabao Cup, Luton had been drawn away to West Ham United. The Luton fans will be going to the London Stadium for the first time in their history. So guys, this is the team which I'm using for the home game against West Brom. Now, I just received some news that Ryan Tunnicliffe will be out injured for five to six weeks. So that is a big loss as he's one of our like squad players in the team. But hopefully we can still win games without him. So we're going to head into this game against West Brom. Now in real life, this was a 2-1 away win for West Brom. But hopefully it won't be the same result this time round. West Brom looks so dangerous. Every time they go forward, they look so dangerous. Crosses it down on the right-hand side. Are they going to put the ball into the box? Yes, they do. No one's marking Cannon Robinson and West Brom are 1-0 up inside the first minute of the second half. Probably the worst time to actually concede as well. Not good. Throw down the left-hand side for Luton. Richards throws the ball. He's hoping for a Luton play to win it, but Elliot Lee nicks it off the defender and scores. Elliot Lee has had a really good start to the championship this season. What a goal this is from Elliot Lee. Like, just wins the ball off the defender, shoots first time. Keeper, obviously, wasn't expecting it, and it's 1-0. The Leeds player crosses the ball into the box now. Pearson on the edge. Oh, Pearson just beats his man. Can he shoot? Can Pearson shoot? Pe He's been brought down. Lee Mason gives the penalty. Oh, my God. This is a massive opportunity for us. Danny Hilton on the penalty. Is he going to score now? Please, Hilton, come on. Oh, and he's missed it. And he's missed it. Really, really, Danny. I turned it out. Oh, hang on a minute. He's on a yellow card, ref. Come on, send him off. Yes. Send him off. West Brom are now down to 10 men. Can we take that opportunity and score? Vickers down on the left. Gives it to Richards. Richards is crowded by like three players there. Loses the ball out on, down on the left-hand side. Pereira plays it down the middle to Robinson. Robinson... Great save by Sluga. Sluga's kept us in so many games. And that's it. It ends a draw. I take that to be fair. Obviously, I want Danny Hilton to score his penalties. But West Brom are a very good side. But we should have taken advantage of them being down to 10 men. So, guys, this is the team which I'm going to be using for this away fixture to Sheffield Wednesday. Now, in real life, this game was a 1-0 home win to, obviously, Sheffield Wednesday. Just like I said in the West Brom game, can I change that result? Wednesday have a free kick in a very dangerous area. They shoot, and what a goal that is from like Sheffield Wednesday. And to be fair, guys, we've not had any real opportunities this first half. It's been pretty much all Sheffield Wednesday. But decent free kick from them. Sluger's got no chance. Back to Sluger. To Vickers. Good passing play by Luton. Brown. To O'Kane. To Pelly. To Jave. Jave, can he, he's running down on the right-hand side. Plays it to Elliot Lee. Back to Jave. Can he cross the ball into the box? Gives it to Lee. Gives it to our Lee's player. And he shoots. What a goal. Good start as well. Especially in the second half. What a goal. A well-worked move from like, our goalkeeper, Sluga, to the attack. And Luton have got that equaliser. Wednesday with the free kick. Gives it to Wickham. Back to Bannum. Wickham. 
Wednesday cross the ball, what a good ball that is, and we are 2 1 down. Unmarked, like on the far left side, they can't be giving players like De Cruz like, opportunities like that. He's already scored a free kick, and Luton are 2 1 down in this game against Sheffield Wednesday. Just look at that. What's Pearson doing? He's just ball watching and just allowed his player to get behind him. So there you have it, guys. That's our first loss of the season. Two very poor goals to concede. And to be fair, we only had like one real good opportunity at goal, and that was obviously our goal by the Leeds player. We had eight chances at goal, five on target, but we didn't really create any real good chances which could have got us more goals. So guys, we're heading into this game against Barnsley away from home. Now, these are the types of games which we need to win in order for us to stay up in the championship this season. So this is the team which I'm going to be playing against Barnsley and hopefully we can get the three points here. Obviously, Sheffield Wednesday was a very disappointing performance, so hopefully we can bounce back from our first loss of the season. Stupid error to give away a foul. What a save by Sluga. How many times is he going to keep making like, top quality saves? Shinny with the corner. Barnsley defend really well. Barnsley are countering in. And there we go. From our own corner, that is. Such like poor defending. Just Especially from our corner. Look. Just hoofs it long. Gives it to the to the, the Barnsley attacker, and like no play goes near him, and he basically has like a free shot at goal, and we're one 0 down against a team which will probably be down there with us come the end of the season. What is Sluger doing? Sluger's just come out. He's missed the ball completely, and Barnsley have on now two 0 up. Luton man. Oh, Pelly, go on, Pelly. Good save from the Barnsley keeper. That's our best chance we've had all game. Barnsley, like Barnsley defenders, just brought down Elliot Lee. Second yellow of the game. And it's not going to matter though, guys. Like, we've had one real good opportunity all game. Came to Pelly, and that's it. But if you look at, like, the match stats, it's not a 2-0 loss. It doesn't look like we've lost 2-0. But we have because we've not taken any opportunities at goal. We've not really created like a golden chance to score like a goal. And we've got a really bad loss to Barnsley. And that's back-to-back -back, like league defeats. So guys, it's the big one. It's away to West Ham in the Carabao Cup second round. Hopefully we can obviously cause an upset and progress to the next round of the cup. But if we don't and we do lose this game, that means we would have lost um, three games in a row all would have been away from home as well which isn't the best however i do believe we can cause an upset and as long as we've got that belief we can do anything west ham are playing a very strong team as well rich is down on the left hand side okay Tony so crosses the ball into our German striker, Alex um, Mia. I need to know how to say his name, honestly. But we are 1 0 up inside the first 10 minutes in this game against West Ham. Look at this move. Okay. Down to um, Atonito. Um, crosses the ball into the box to our German striker, who is unmarked. And we are 1 0 up inside the first 10 minutes. We are doing really well at the moment. Like, seven opportunities at goal against West Ham in the first half away from home. Doing really well, lads. Good first half by the lads. To be fair, nine opportunities at goal. And we're 1 0 up. Can we hold on in the second half? Alex, our German striker, hit inside of the bar. Pearson! Oh, he was offside anyway. But, oh my god, that's a perfect opportunity to be 2 0 up. Great save by Randolph. Another free kick in the dangerous area. Our least player. Last four minutes of the game now, guys. Can we hold on and get the win? Can we knock out West Ham? Premier League side in the cup. Yes, we can. What a like performance, by the way, guys. 15 attempts at goal. West Ham had a very strong like squad out. And to win the game and have 15 opportunities at goal, they only had two more than us. To have even possession as well, what a result. And 
I'm really happy because we've had back-to-back losses as well in the league. Now, this win is going to just boost us, boost the morale in the squad for our really tough game against Huddersfield at home next Saturday. So, guys, the draw hasn't obviously been kind to us because we've got Port Vale away from home. Now, you can look at it and think it's going to be an easier opponent to obviously progress to the next round, or they will beat us because they're the home side and there's a lot more pressure. But anyway, guys, I'm going to have to end the video there. My camera battery is flashing, so it's time to stop. But anyway, guys, hopefully you did enjoy my second episode of my FM20 save. Drop a like on the video if you did enjoy it. Comment down below if you are enjoying the series so far. Let me know. You guys enjoying the series just helps me. It motivates me to make more videos. So let me know down in the comment section of this video. Are you enjoying the series? Subscribe to the channel if you are new. Follow me across all my social media if you haven't done already. And I'll see you guys in the next video.